hello friends yatta akravi secretarial practice ya vishaya cha ya video lecture madhe apna sarvanch hardik swagat i think all of you doing well you are preparing well you are studying well each and every subject all the videos or video conferencing lecture which the teacher deliver to you i think i think all things you enjoy it very well okay so from this video lecture we start introductory part and features of various forms of businesses various forms of businesses so first of all sole trading concern the word sole trading the word sole trading concern or sole trader that is sole means single sole means single trading that is buying selling activities concern firm business so sole trading concern is one of the form of business organization so what is meant by sole trading concern sole means single sole means one so sole the business organization or business trading concern or business firm which is own o w n e d managed m a n a g e d managed and controlled by one person controlled by one person known as sole trading concern it is also known as one man business or one man show it is also known as one man business or one man show one man show sole trading concern one man show because why it is called as a one man show because all the decision of the business firm is taken by a single person known as a sole trader the person who conduct all the activities of sole trading concern is known as sole trader that is a single person so the business which is own managed and controlled and run by one single person known as sole trading concern next features of sole trading concern no separate law or act governing sole trading concern for example companies are registered under companies act 2013 partnership firms are registered under partnership act 1932 so like that way there is no any a separate or specific law to register or govern sole trading concern but all the laws of land 
it's applicable to the sole trading concern but there is no a separate law for sole trading concern so there is no a separate registration under a specific act which is applicable only to the sole trading concern is not established till date sole trading concern hai vyavsay sathi konata hai separate act jo sole trading concern sathi applicable asel asa aaj parant astitvat alela na next sole trading concern has only one owner as the name that is sole trading is enough sufficient to make or to explain the meaning of the word sole trader or one owner sole trading concern has only one owner that is single ownership in sole trading concern single ownership in sole trading concern फक्त एकच मालक हा सोल ट्रेडिंग कन्सर्न मध्य एक व्यक्ति ने चलवेली संस्था कि व्यक्ति ने चलने का व्यवसाय सोल ट्रेडिंग कन्सर्न है कैपिटल कंपेर टू पार्टनरशिप फर्म कंपेर टू कोऑपरेटिव सोसायटी कंपेर टू नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गनाइजेशन कंपेर टू जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनी द एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ कैपिटल इन व्हाट इज बाय कैपिटल द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज बाय कैपिटल कैपिटल दट इज द अमाउंट इन्वेस्टेड बाय बिजनेस ओनर इन द बिजनेस in various forms known as capital so what is meant by capital okay so it is the meaning of capital so compared to all these forms of business organization that is sole uh, partnership firm joint in stock company joint in the family business cooperative society or for profit organization the availability of capital for sole trading concern is limited that is limited capital accumulation okay the availability of capital is limited compared to all forms of business organization next thing that is profit the main objective of each and every business मे बी सोल ट्रेडिंग कन्सर मे बी पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म मे बी कॉपरेटिव सोसायटी इन टूडेज करंट सिनेरियो इन टूडेज करंट सिनेरियो जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनी द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी बिजनेस ऑर्गनाइजेशन इज टू अर्न मैक्म प्रॉफिट नॉट ओनली प्रॉफिट बट मैक्म प्रॉफिट सो हो in sole trading concern is also one of the form of business organization which is established for the purpose to earn maximum profit but one of the ideal feature of sole trading concern is in sole trading concern there is no division of profit because as we discussed earlier there is only a one owner or single owner that's why in sole trading concern there is no division of profit among others or among members because sole trader is only a one member one owner one man show of business 
so in soul trading there is no division diversification of profit that is profit of business is a profit of sole trader only profit of business is a profit of sole trader only जो व्यवसायाला प्रॉफिट होईल तो त्या एका सोल ट्रेडरचाच असेल त्याच्यामध्ये कोणाला हे डिव्हिजन करता येणार नाही किंवा दुसऱ्यामध्ये दुसऱ्या कोणामध्ये तो वाटला जात नाही लाईक अ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म द प्रॉफिट इज डिस्ट्रीब्युटेड ॲज पर पार्टनरशिप अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन ऑल द पार्टनर्स बट इन सोल ट्रेडर द प्रॉफिट इज नॉट डिस्ट्रीब्युटेड अमंग एनी अदर पर्सन द प्रॉफिट ऑफ बिझनेस इज द प्रॉफिट ऑफ सोल ट्रेडर नेक्स्ट डिसिजन ऑफ बिजनेस आर टेकन बाय सोल ट्रेडर ऑल द डिसिजन्स ऑल द स्ट्रॅटेजीज ऑल द प्लॅन्स ऑल द पॉलिसीज आर टेक बाय सोल ट्रेडर दट इज ऑल डिसिजन्स ऑल प्लॅन्स पॉलिसीज ऑफ बिझनेस ऑर्गनायझेशन आर टेकन बाय सोल ट्रेडर because he is the only person in his firm or his in his concern who is taken all the decisions regarding his business so a single decision making authority is concentrated in the hands of sole trading sole trader in sole trading concern vyavsayache sarv decisions he fakt eka vyakti ghet aste ani to manje sole trader sole trading concern cha baptit sagle plans policies strategies are decided by sole trader for his business next maximum business secrecy as a sole trader how he run his business how he formulate or decide various strategies and policies for his business all these things are secrets of his organization if you open his secrets then other competitors also follow these things and get a profit throughout the buying selling activity or trading activity in business in market for their businesses so sole trader keeps the all the secrets of his business as a secret so maximum business secrets because he is the only one person who knows all the secrets of his organization so he keeps all the secrets as a secret known as a maximum business secrets sole trading concern cha baptit vyavsaya che sagle secrets he sagle decision ha to sole trader ghet aslyamulo व्यवसायाचे सगळे सिक्रेट्स हे त्या एकाच व्यक्तीवर असतात त्यामुळे तो जोपर्यंत कोणाला ते सिक्रेट्स डिस्क्लोज करत नाही व्यवसायाचे सिक्रेट्स कधीही डिस्क्लोज होत नाहीत नेक्स्ट दॅट इज अनलिमिटेड लायबिलिटी देन व्हॉट इज बाय लायबिलिटी and what is by unlimited liability as per as our subject is concerned the liability means ability to pay debts ability to pay loans liability and what is by limited liability and what is by unlimited liability first we see what is by limited liability limited liability is one of the feature of joint stock company limited liability means the liability of members of joint stock company is limited up to payment of unpaid value of its shares known as limited liability 
then what is known by unlimited liability if in case of sole trading concern the assets of business is not sufficient to pay the debts of the sole trading concern then the private property of sole trader is also utilized for the payment of debts of sole trading concern known as unlimited liability for example if mr x taken a loan from bank of from any bank of rupees 5 lakhs but he is not able to pay the loan with interest so at that time his assets are also not sufficient his business assets are also not sufficient to pay the loan amount and interest then his personal property apart from his business is also utilized at that particular situation for the payment of debts that is loan of company loan of bank sorry loan of bank next feature does not enjoy separate legal status like a joint stock company sole trading concern does not enjoy separate legal status then what is meant by separate legal status in joint stock company the members and company business is separate from one another but in sole trading concern the business and sole trader is treated as a same that's why business is not separated from sole trader does not enjoy separate legal status next not suitable for large scale business operation this type of business organization like sole trading concern is suitable only for local level village level but if you want to take a manufacturing activity any production activity on large scale so at that time this type of business is not suitable so you require partnership firm hindu family business and company business but but this type of business organization basically that is sole trading concern is not suitable for large scale business operations sole trading concern na avasa vyavsa hai tar to mothya pramanavarte karnyasarkha vyavsa hai nahi chote pramanavarti village level la local level la karnyasoga ha vyavsa hai is the ekta vyakti cha je skill hai te purna pane utilize hoil asha paddhati cha jo vyavsa hai तिथ कर लोकल लेवलला करना हा व्यवसाय है सोल ट्रेडिंग कंसर जो तुम्हें मोटा प्रमाणा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्टिविटीज घर अल तो सोल ट्रेडिंग कंसर हा व्यवसाय तिथ हा फॉर्म ऑफ और सोल ट्रेडिंग कंसर इज वन ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गनाइजेशन इज नॉट सुटेबल टू फॉर लार्ज स्केल बिजनेस ऑपरेशन्स it is small scale business local level business it is ideal for local level so these all are the features of sole trading concern the next form of business organization that is joint hindu family business Hindu undivided family business con conducts business inherited by it as per Hindu law it is called as Hindu family business inherited manje varasa hakka pramana by succession je vyavsay et rahta pratyek vyakti kade pidyan pidya te vyavsay manje kashe ahet Hindu undivided family business ya concept kali the registered asta then features of 
joint Hindu family business membership by birth the one the person who the membership of joint Hindu family business is get by birth if there is male then he also get membership by birth if there is female child then he also get then she also get membership by birth so membership in joint Hindu family business is get by birth only joint Hindu family business mother to family business I की जो वारसा हक्क ना प्रत्येक पिढ्यान पिढ्यामध्ये चालू आहे की या व्यवसायाची जर मेंबरशिप हवी असेल तर ते फक्त बाय बर्थच मिळते त्या घरामध्ये त्या कुटुंबामध्ये जो व्यक्ती जन्माला येईल मग तो मुलगा असो किंवा मुलगी असो त्याला त्या व्यवसायाची मेंबरशिप ही मिळते मुलाची मेंबरशिप कंटिन्यू जोपर्यंत तो हयात आहे किंवा जिवंत आहे तोपर्यंत त्याच्याकडे राहते मुलगी लग्नानंतर त्याची मेंबरशिप काय होते ॲटोमॅटिकली कॅन्सल होते आणि जी व्यक्ती लग्न करून त्या घरामध्ये येईल तर त्या व्यक्तीला हे त्या घरात त्या व्यवसायाची मेंबरशिप म्हणजे जॉईंट हिंदू फॅमिलीची मेंबरशिप बाय बर्थ मिळते नेक्स्ट कन्सेप्ट दॅट इज करता ऑल द डिसिजन्स ऑफ जॉईंट हिंदू फॅमिली बिझनेस इज टेकन बाय करता तर हू इज करता करता इज द सिनियर मोस्ट मेंबर फॅमिली मेंबर ऑफ जॉइंट हिंदू फॅमिली नोन ॲज करता पण व्हॉट आर द राईट्स ऑफ करता करता टेकन ईच अँड एव्हरी डिसिजन फॉर हिज बिझनेस फॉर हिज फॅमिली बिझनेस नन ऑफ द अदर फॅमिली मेंबर इज अलाउड टू गो हे गो अहेड विदाउट द परमिशन ऑफ करता For example, in 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 a family, there are grandfather, grandmother, their two childrens, and grandsons. So at that time, grandfather having the whole authority of that family to take decisions, because he is the senior most member in that family. So like uh, this concept, in joint in the family business also. the one person known as a karta taken all the decisions of business or of business that is family business known as a karta karta is the senior most member of the family known as a karta or he is if karta is tied then the next person who is senior most member followed by that particular person who tied as a karta is become a karta of that family next concept co partners all other members of family other than karta known as a co partners all other members of family other than karta is known as co partners karta sodun vyavsayamade asna gharamade asna je sarva family members ahet तर त्यांना को पार्सनर्स असं म्हटलं जात जॉईंट हिंदू फॅमिलीच्या बाबतीत नेक्स्ट नो लिमिट फॉर मिनिमम अँड मॅक्झिमम मेंबरशिप घरामध्ये जेवढे मेंबर्स असतील ते सगळे त्या व्यवसायाचे मेंबर्स आहेत जेवढे बाय बर्थ न मेंबरशिप घेतील ते सगळे मेंबर्स आहेत ज्या नवीन लेडीज लग्न करून त्या घरामध्ये येतील ते सगळे त्या घरात त्या व्यवसायाचे मेंबर्स आहेत so there is no minimum and maximum num- limitations to become a member of joint hindu family business next feature liability of karta is unlimited if in decision is taken by karta so the liability of karta is l- unlimited for that particular decision or for forever cause then what is by unlimited liability if any decision is taken by karta he is not able to pay complete that particular decision for example in case of he taken a date from any any 
person or from any institution and he is not liable to pay then his liability towards that particular debt is unlimited means his personal property is also used for the purpose of payment of debts that is liability of karata is unlimited then next feature the liability of co-parsoners is limited co-parsoners means all other members other than karta is known as co-parsoners so the liability of these co-parsoners is limited means limited up to assets of the joint Hindu family business and not their personal property is used for the payment of debts of the family business next concept that is decision making authority in joint family business all the decisions of the business is taken by karta only because he is the senior most member of the family business he having the full authority as per business as per he having the proper authority supreme authority of taking decisions regarding businesses or regarding his family business so all the plan policy strategies for the development expansion purpose of business is taken by karta next registration of family business is not compulsory as per act next limited capital compared to company business the capital of joint Hindu family business is limited company business have huge capital but compared to sole training concern capital of joint Hindu family business is large but compared to company business the capital of joint in the family is limited capital next more business secrecy as all decisions are taken by karta so all the all the secrets of the business of family is known by karta and if he disclose with his co-partners then secrets is known by co-persons means all the secrets of business is within the family and the family members that is co-persons and karta cannot disclose these secrets with outsiders so like a soldering concern here also there is more business secrecy okay so the next less government control there is less government control on the business of joint Hindu family Mitra ho tum ma sar wanna stories ay kala phara uda ta sthil there is forms of business organization now so so can slide me tumala dakho to hai there is a story that is story me as tumala ta ayko to hai story english madhmi sangna ra hai मराठी तुम्ही सांगणार आहे ऐका व्यवस्थित कारण ह्या सगळ्या कन्सेप्ट तुमच्या इथंच कवर होऊन जातील राजीव इज वन पर्सन हू इज मेंबर ऑफ जॉईंट हिंदू फॅमिली बिझनेस बट द पर्सन राजीव इज अँबिशियस he is not feeling comfortable in joint hindu family business so he take one decision that is to open his separate business so he open 
its separate business as a sole trading concern and he run this sole trading concern for 2 years then he run its sole trading concern for 2 years what he finds that he wants to expand its business on large scale that's why he one of the disadvantages of sole trading concern that is limited capital that's why he wants more capital so with the mitesh raju and with the mitesh they start partnership firm they start partnership firm they start partnership firm but after some years both mitesh and raju wants to expand its business on large scale at that time they also find difficulty of capital and various technological difficulty of technological upgradation they require more persons having skill and knowledge with them as employee and as advisor so at that time they start a company business they start a company business known as star company limited they collect huge capital from people for their company business because they require more capital to expand their business on large scale and as a part of corporate social responsibility star company limited starts its own cooperative store which provide goods on non profit basis as a part of corporate social responsibility they start cooperative store हे एक स्टोरी आहे ती मी तुम्हाला आता पुन्हा मराठीमध्ये सांगतो आहे राजीव नावाचा एक व्यक्ती आहे की तो जॉईंट हिंदू फॅमिली बिझनेसमध्ये एक मेंबर म्हणून को पार्सनल म्हणून आहे पण तो ध्येयवादी आहे त्याच्यामध्ये आत्मविश्वास आहे कॉन्फिडन्स आहे तर स्वतःचा नवीन व्यवसाय एक्सपांड चालू करायचा आहे पण तो तिथं जॉईंट हिंदू फॅमिली बिझनेसमध्ये स्वतःला तेवढा कम्फर्टेबल फील करत नाही किंवा त्या व्यवसायामध्ये जे काय अर्निंग्स त्याला मिळतात त्यामध्ये तो सर्ट